Sometimes in Race for the Galaxy, you get no good starting cards in hand. Find out one way to deal with that here on Legendary Tactics. So I have been playing against the hard AI and absolutely loving my uh, my games here against uh, in Race for the Galaxy using the Steam platform. And in this particular game, I started off with New Sparta. Great, I love going military. I was super pumped. Then I looked at my hand. Ah, oh, great, New Galactic Order, an amazing military card, but unfortunately, way out of range right now, early game. Then I looked at Rebel Homeworld, unbelievable seven pointer, but there's no way I could get to it. So. What to do in this particular situation? Well, I'm going with some card draw, and I am going to drop down that. Uh, I know for sure that I could lay the investment credits. At the very worst, I was going to try and mill for some military ops. What did I get? Two brown worlds and empath world, the green, which is doing the opposite of what I want. Although it would give me more card draw. So I had a bit of a dilemma here, trying to figure out which way to go, how to mitigate this. Decided to drop one of the brown worlds. I'm thinking about empath world. Possibly you just got to ditch the military strategy at this point. Um, in the meantime, I am going to play the investment credits. That's going to get me cheaper development worlds down. One way at least I can start getting some, some development worlds down and one, one potential path to victory there. So I'm keeping that option open. So want to get down a world here i am going to just drop down the empath world i'm going to kind of i'm going to sidestep the the military option for now at least whittle down it a little bit uh, i know it, it you know reduce myself by one military uh strength uh at the cost of four cards so hopefully here i can start to get some some kind of synergy between my cards see some kind of some kind of uh, pattern here that i'm going to be able to utilize to work out that I can to actually start uh, building a building a hand here, building my tableau. So I've got the refugee world, which would actually decimate my uh, my military strength. So I'm, I'm going to pass on that one just for now. Uh, the spaceport blue world. It's going to give me uh, so, some some at least some some card draws when the, when the cards get refreshed. Uh, I'm going to go with the mining world too. We're going to try and get some. Some some different uh, synergy going on here. Now I've got uh, I've got green, blue, and red worlds down, so it does give me some options for some some other cards down the road. We'll see uh, see what we can do with those. In the meantime, refreshing spaceport and mining world. Looking at the score here, I can see the hard AI is going hard into the blue worlds, so. There's going to probably be a, a, a bit of a point push for, for uh, the AI side. We'll see uh, if, if the AI tries to score some, uh, some, some scoring development cards. I do like that trade league. Uh, it's just at the cost of six right now. It's kind of out of reach. But if I can get that going, then there would be another way of uh, really starting to uh, mill some cards. So the mining world offering me five cards, I'll take it. So that actually really does help with getting Trade League in there if I so choose. I've gotten myself back up to two military. So another kind of uh, real flexible game here. I've got uh, some military. I've got some some regular world strength here. And a bit of a crossroads here. So I can kind of focus on, I could, I could go Expedition Force, getting another military that would uh, bump me up to three, meaning I could play the green military Windfall World. Uh, in the end, we're going to go with dropping down Trade League. So this was a bit of a crossroads. I'm, I'm going with the card, the mill option here. I'm going to really try and mill, mill the deck here for getting, uh, getting a, a real robust hand of cards and keeping options open for things to lay down. I am noticing too that uh, my tableau is more than half full. AIs is just below the VP levels currently. 22 VPs in the pool, lots of VPs. I am up 8 to 11, but that really means not much right now. So getting down that uh, green windfall alien uh, uh, military world. Oh, now there's interesting. Free trade association. So could be a potential parlay there with spaceport. If I can get the spice world out and I got an, uh, oh, now I've got four blue cards in hand. So I could go for a blue world push, even though, ironically, the, the hard AI there has got four blue worlds in hand as well. So this is going to be a bit interesting here, how to exactly navigate this. 
I got a lot of blue. I do have the free trade association, which is the big six six point development uh, score for blue. So I know it's only worth two right now, but if I can stock up and get some blue worlds in there, then potentially we could really, really uh, turn some tide here and uh, get some uh, some real synergy with the blue worlds. So 19 points in the VP pool. 16, 15 AIs jumped out ahead of me here a little bit. I am uh, kind of aware that I only have three spots left on my tableau. So do I go with the easy one point blue military world? Do I go for one of the, the regular worlds? Do I go for the windfall blue world? There's a lot of options here. In the end, I'm going to go with prosperous world. I think, uh, I don't know, maybe. See the, these are the points in, in actually in the game of, of race that I absolutely love where it's just, you've just got all these in, and again, more options come upon me here where with tra Terraformed World and the, the Galactic Trendsetters, of course. Uh, both those are excellent end game cards, which we are fast approaching here. So two cards that could really, really uh, influence here how I'm going to play this handout. So I've got my Free Trade Association up to five already, five VP, and would be getting me a lot of uh, a lot of VPs. So, real dilemma here. How do I want to play this out? So I can I can go one more turn, not during the VP pool, get that last uh, blue in there, and then go for a, or I can go for the, uh, the juggler here. Go with the go with the uh, a development. And a, and a world. Hopefully that puts me over the top. A little bit risky, but could try and pull that off. I think what I'm going to do, though, is go with the development. And score out some blue. Let's try and, let's try and see if we can't uh, sort of rush the finish here a little bit. It, it may drain the pool right down. But in the meantime, and you know what, I'm going to have to let those uh, that, that five banger go. That's, there's just no way I'm going to get to it. We're gonna go all in on the blue here. So the big question will be if I can out point him here. It's it's uh, I got a, I got a four point edge, but the free trade's gonna give me another six there. Epsilon will Epsilon will give me another uh, another two. And I can keep that aquatic. Actually, I can score a ton of cards, which also possibly helps me get some great cards for that last round push. So we are down to five points left in the VP pool. Uh, I got a comfortable six point lead. Uh, we're gonna be having to whittle down some cards here. Cards I know for sure that I won't get. That's, that uh, deserted alien library, I could just kind of end it right there, getting that one down. Could possibly go with two worlds, just drop two worlds down, end the game. Um, could go with the the galactic resort too if i can actually get enough vp or enough cards in hand to actually pull that off so it's going to kind of come down to it here uh, deserted alien library gets me five vp alien robotic factory five vp both at a cost of six cards so that really kind of drains the banks so I'll put down the alien robotic factory now, I'm wondering if I should have possibly dropped the other one. Uh, at least it would have given me uh, a uh, an instant card uh, on it because it was a windfall world. But we'll go with that route, and I can also put down. Let's see. Oh, we got another. Oh, I'm one. I am one short though of the pirate world. So we will uh, at this point. It's 3528. It's going to take a minor miracle, but we'll drop down Galactic Resort just to seal the deal here. And uh, get another uh, another few points out of that. Plus, of course, the points that would be tacked on to free trade association. And putting us up to 38 with another point to go here. Bringing it to 40. And Tableau is one over the max, which is great. Unless a miracle happens with 
No, it did not. So it was a, another another comfortable uh, coasting to a victory there. But uh, a great way of just showing that, hey, sometimes you just got to kind of roll with what you got and uh, take, the, take the cards you get and, and go for the mill option and see what you can find. Hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This has been Legendary Tactics. Thank <laughs> you.